Hi, I'm PJ and this is PJ Collects, my YouTube channel dedicated to collecting. And today we are going to open up this box that I picked up from a garage sale the other day. Uh, the box says that this is Lego set 3831 Rocket Ride in the SpongeBob SquarePants theme. Um, as I mentioned before, there are more Legos in here than just this set. I don't know how complete this set is. I know that there are some pieces from it in here. I, I don't know how complete it is though, and there are definitely pieces to other LEGO sets in here. So we're going to crack this open and see what we can find in here. Just as a, te a little bit of a teaser, we've got Mr. Krabs here who does not come in this set, so for sure there are other things in here. So let's crack this thing open and see what we've got. All right, let's crack this open. My son's helping out on the camera work here. Okay, so the first thing, first thing that we have when we pull this out, we've got some rock pieces. There's a little bit of a, a little cart here. I don't know if you can see that. It's got like some translucent pieces on the side. There is another Patrick right there. So that are, that's two Patrick stars. There's three stars. Two Patricks. Okay. Here, let me hold the camera. Sorry about that. Okay. The second bag, we've got a boat. And... A few other things. There's a life preserver there. I'm not exactly sure what these things are, but I guess we'll see. Okay, so we've got that. We have an instruction manual here. Oh, that was a big one. SpongeBob SquarePants. This is the instruction manual for the rocket. And let's just slide some of this out here. I can do this without dumping everything. Oh. Hey, I'm trying to find crystals. Okay, hold on, but here. Why don't you hold that uh, one more time? Oh yeah, I saw this earlier. This is interesting. This is a bag. It looks like somebody made a giant Mr. Krabs just out of some bricks. But they look pretty old. It doesn't look like they came from this set at all. Well, that's kind of interesting. So, might just be some extra pieces. Okay, you want to hold that? Yeah. Hold that. Just <laughs> So here we've got the house. house. This looks like SpongeBob's house. Um, I looked up which set I thought that this was from, but I can't remember now, so I'll have to look that up later. I'm not sure how that goes. Looks like that goes sort of something like this. Alright, so we've got a little bit of a house there. There's one more in here. Alright, so this comes from that same set. This looks like it's, I think, Squidward's house, if I remember right, from the show. There's I've another. seen your show before. There's Squidward right there. There's, Squid... There's Squidward right there. Yep, my favorite guy. Okay, uh, apparently he's There's another SpongeBob in there. Alright. Another SpongeBob! There's a lot more. Okay, so here's some stuff for the rocket. There's the little car that... The squirrel drives. That looks like that goes to the next set. And a whole bunch more pieces. So let me dump these out and and then uh, we'll see what we got. All right, so dumped out all the pieces and here's what we've got. So the bad news is there is definitely not a completed rocket in here, which is really, really disappointing to me. I'm actually really bummed about that. I thought that there was going to be, but as you can see, there are a number of these pieces right here and I've got a total of one, two, three, four. I think I need at least eight to make the, the rocket it looks like. Unless there's something that I'm not seeing on the other side of this build. I guess we could open it up and see here. Sorry daddy. Yeah, it looks like looks like we would need eight of those pieces. So. We're missing it. That is too bad. Let's see here what, what these say. Yeah, I should have eight of those and I have four of them. The, the other very obvious thing that is missing is, sorry, I just took that from my son. There is one space suit guy in here, Patrick in his space suit, and the other two, SpongeBob and Sandy, are not in here. So this is not a complete set. Um, that's really too bad. 
I guess we'll uh, do an assessment, see what we've got here, what we have from this set, what we have from the other one, and we'll see what we've got Yay! and show it to you. We're missing the crystal! Alright, I've finished building the rocket, at least what I could build of the rocket. So, first up, we've got the little car here with the little cart that holds the jellyfish. And this cart, the car and the cart were complete. Again, only the Patrick minifig did not have the Sandy, but this was complete, so that's nice. Had all those red wheels on there. So I'll put that to the side. The next build was, let me find it in the book here. Oh well, I'll just show you right here. The next build was this thing right here. I didn't have that plate right there. Didn't have any of the seaweed. Didn't have any of the little barrels. Or the flag. Or the sticker for the flag. I just had these green pieces. Uh, the next part was the rocket itself, and as you can see, it is sort of in two pieces here, missing a lot. So it's actually missing less than I thought it was. It's missing these white pieces on the side, primarily, that's what it's missing, and then some of these red plates and some black plates, some black curved plates that are a little smaller than that, and might be missing a couple of these as well. And because of that, it doesn't really hold together well. It is pretty fragile. I can't actually attach it to the base of the rocket, which is too bad. I have these three pieces that go over on top of the base there. A couple of extra pieces that go to the rocket that will fit on top of those white cylindrical pieces. Uh, the last part of the build was this thing here. I think this is supposed to be an elevator that takes you up to the rocket. It's missing the elevator part, but the rest of it was there. So, except I think it was missing one of these brown studs, or two of these brown studs. And then again, missing the two minifigs, missing a whole bunch of these jellyfish. There was one jellyfish in this box. I don't know if it goes to this one or to another set. And it was on a, a, a guy's head. And it was on Squidward's head, That right? that's right. So. A little disappointing, but not quite as bad as I'd hoped. The most disappointing thing is, are the minifigs that are missing because those will be expensive to buy, I'm sure. The rest of the pieces I can get. So, anyway. We'll add that to the list of things to pick up at BrickLink. Um, I think that this set is worth some money, so I do feel motivated to complete it in order to sell it. So... That is it for the Spongebob Rocket Ride. I think that's what it's called. Spongebob Rocket Ride. All right, so that's it for the Rocket Ride, but we still have a bunch of other pieces from some other set, from this set. So I'm gonna look up that set right now, pull up the instructions, and see if we can rebuild this set as well. All right, so I finished up this next set here. This is set 3827, Adventures in Bikini Bottom. And I was actually very surprised. This set is nearly complete. It has got most of its parts there and most of the main things there, so I'm really happy about that. So the first thing, it comes with three minifigs, SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward. All three of those were in here. There were, well, I'll get to that in a second. All three of those were in here. Then there's also this little build for Gary, which is actually a pretty clever build. Now, it was missing that gray connect... I don't know what they're called. That gray hook piece that the eye stalks are sitting in, which they used like an inverted green cherry for, which is really cool. So there was a black one that I didn't end up using because of something else that was missing, and so I used it for that just to show you what it would look like. So those three Minifigs and Gary are there in mostly complete condition. The next build was this boat. And this is mostly complete. It's missing one of these translucent window shield panes. As well as some white pieces that go around the edges. I believe four 1x4 white plates. Other than that, it is pretty much set to go. There were several other little builds. This, I believe, is 100% complete. I'm not exactly sure what it's for. Here's another little launcher that I also believe is 100% complete. I'll have to go back and check though. Then we have this cart. This cart is 100% complete. Unfortunately, 
it's missing all of the jellyfish that are supposed to go in there. It comes with eight jellyfish, and there is not a one. There was just the one that we stuck in the other rocket set. There's this set right here, which is almost complete. It's missing two one by six tiles. Other than that, um, it's complete. This is kind of cool. It has a play feature where you pull that and the bed pops up to launch SpongeBob out of bed. Next thing we have here is, sorry, SpongeBob. We have Patrick Star's home, his rock that he lives under. This was almost complete as well. The interior is complete. It has a little printed TV piece, which is really fun. A little table and a chair. The only thing that's missing is one of these cones, these cylindrical cones. It's supposed to have four, and it's missing one of those. Okay, next we've got Squidward's house. Again, Squidward's house is almost complete. I believe the only thing I'm missing are two black pieces that I go here, and I couldn't tell from the instructions that I downloaded in a PDF what those pieces were, so I'll have to look that part up, but it was missing two of those. Could just be those two black plates, but I don't think it is. I think they're modified bricks. So, we'll take a look at that. Other than that, I believe that this is complete. Oh! Excuse me, it is not complete. It's missing a little uh, rig that goes in here that basically has two little eyeballs that stick out of out of there. So it was missing that. Um, basically just completely gone. And last we have SpongeBob's house. Again, almost entirely complete. It's missing a couple bricks right here. And then one right there. And then it's missing a couple plates right there and right there and then on the back side here we pop this open oh the other thing it's missing is there's a cylinder that goes up there that is not that was not in, in, in here it's hard to see but there is a 2x4 plate orange plate that goes right there that it's missing and then the big thing that it's missing is there is a basketball hoop. Here, let me open this up so the lighting's a little bit better. Oh, sorry. There's a basketball hoop that's supposed to go in here, so they had this 1x2 white brick in here, but this is supposed to be a 1x2 brick with a hole in it for a Technic piece to go in. And that connects to a basketball hoop, and then there's supposed to be two basketballs that sit right here. And that was gone as well. And then on top, there's supposed to be some leafy palm trees that are on top that are missing. So I'll show you here what it's supposed to look like. You can see that without it messing up, but there's the hoop. Uh, let's see, if we scroll down here, there's the hoop and the basketballs and then the leafy palm trees. So that's what it would look like complete. But overall, I am super, super happy with this. For a set that I was not expecting this to even be in here, you know, the, the box said rocket ride, had a picture of the rocket, nothing else. So I was not anticipating any of this. To get this basically for free was really, really awesome. Out of the SpongeBob stuff, we got the rocket, missing a lot of pieces, missing a couple of the minifigs. We got the Bikini Bottom Adventure set, mostly complete, all of the minifigs included, just missing a few pieces that I'll pick up on BrickLink. And that, that set is good to go. I mentioned this, there's just a bunch of bricks in here, some plates as well. So those will just be some spare parts, we'll clean those and throw them in the collection. Looks like they tried to make them a Mr. Krabs, those are some of the extra pieces. Um, they'll just go in here I guess as well. But lastly were these three things. Now I thought that these were just regular minifigs, but I started looking into it a little bit more and I thought, well, oh, that Mr. Krabs, he's, he doesn't go to either of these two sets. So I looked up sets that had Mr. Krabs and I only could find one and he has a different face. So then I looked up other Mr. Krabs minifigs. Turns out that there was uh, several sets that they made of just some Spongebob minifigs that are magnets and that is what these are. These are magnetic so I'll show you because they stick together so you can go put them on a fridge or something like that. 
So these three are magnets and yeah, that's pretty cool. So might keep those. It's kind of fun to have. Can stick them on the fridge or just use them for something else. Maybe maybe I'll put them in my office or something. I'm not sh not entirely sure what I'll do with those. So that's it for this SpongeBob Square Pants set that I picked up at a garage sale. The price on there was ten dollars. I got her. I talked her down a little bit on all of them, so I got this for less than ten dollars. This box and comes came with the rocket, which is only partially complete, and the Bikini Bottoms Adventure, which is mostly complete. And I'm pretty excited about that. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.